The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up. And now it's very extended, the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> welcome, folks. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. Express your love. Be impeccable with your word. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 333. NASDAQ is up 85, S&Ps are up 29, that's a gain of 1.2% in the Dow Industrials, 1% in the NASDAQ, and 9 tenths of 1% in the S&P. Gold contract, slamming the gold contract down $18.80, trading at 1464. We have the silver contract down 44 cents, $16.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 75 cents, $59.18 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note. Down 14 ticks, trading out here at a price point, excuse me, folks, of 128.28. 30 year off 24 at 157.19. Now, what both of them have done thus far, folks, is this. They went into their strength from Tuesday. They got about half the, well, half the amount of volume inside the 10 year. They got about two thirds of the amount of volume on the 30 year, and they have rejected lower price. So bottom line is that the notes and bond market is still saying they want higher price, lower yield, which is pretty amazing when you have the markets uh, at all time highs. King dollar, King dollar, 300 ticks trade 97.710. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 108.59. And the pound is at 131 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? We go over and we take a look at the SPY. You're going to see the SPY is trading up $2.93. You're at $3.14.95. And your high that it's going for is $3.15.48. And that was the high that was established on the 27th of November. And there's no reason that they can't uh, try to jam this uh, up into this level uh, as we get into the close. Let me just see this intraday for a second. Yeah, there's no reason you can't jam that. And we've been at the same place now uh, the whole trading day. Uh, NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. NDX right now, uh, not quite as close to the highs as uh, the S&P. NDX, the high inside the three Qs is 206.05. We... Hit that also on the 27th right now. You're trading out at 204.88. Uh, bottom line is that the contraction inside the queues are quite, quite a bit, actually. Um, you, you get 11 million shares. You're going into 17 million, which in itself was a low volume, all-time high. And then we came off those highs with uh, 28 million shares and uh, 31 million. We go take a look at the... Uh, Banks. Uh, this is what's intriguing out here, too, folks, is that the rates are still staying low as of today. OK, bottom line, J.P. Morgan, though, guess what? Breaking topside in a huge way. J.P. Morgan in four days has gone from one hundred and twenty eight dollars to one thirty five forty six. This is an all time high for J.P. Morgan. We bring this back. And we put this on a weekly basis. What you're going to see, it's uh, it's quite a thrust, you know, uh, one week for a stock that. Um, 
is trading at $135. To move $8 uh, in, a, in a week is pretty amazing. Uh, right now, they get a market cap of $424 billion. We got to take a look at Bank of America with BAC. BAC out here is trading at a price point uh, 33.73. Now that's taken out the top of the consolidation that uh, it's been trying to. It's it's not getting away from it. Uh, it you know, it has to get up further away, about a couple points away from the 33.60. But bottom line, you are at 33.73 right now. We got to take a look at now. Now that being said, now watch what happens there. If you happen to be in candlestick charting. Um, what you're going to have out here, folks, is on a, on a weekly basis, you are going to have a hanging man in all the indices. And what is a hanging man? Well, hanging man is a <coughs> when, you have, when you're at highs and on a weekly basis, you know, the, the S&P had gone down to a 307, climbed all the way back up to 315. And if you get a close next week under these highs out here, that'll be saying that, yeah, you're still going to go south. Um, that's in your SPY. That's in your... NDX 100. Now the Qs, if you're pulling this up on your Qs, what you want to be aware of is that there's still a bad tick inside the systems. And this one on the Qs looks like it's one of the longest hanging men you've probably have seen in a long period of time. Well, that thing is not correct. We didn't go to 193 this week. The, if you're looking at it, it's going to say 193 to 205. And what you're going to see, it was the day, I forget what day it was. Yeah, let me see. Put it up five days. It might have been Monday. Yeah. So on Monday, we went to 199. We didn't go to 193. If I do this intraday, you're not going to see that tick that is shown on many um, quote sites, folks. So the bottom line, it's not out there. Some of the uh, gold. Let's go over the gold contract. Take a look at gold. Uh, we had a big jobs number come in. Bottom line is that as the jobs number come in, the S&Ps go topside. They bring gold down. They bring bonds down. But they, guess what? They didn't bring them down that, that far. Uh, gold right now is down $18.60. You are trading at a price point of um, $14.64.50. Well, the swing is still lower. And you're, you're backing down. You're backing down to the strength of, of Tuesday. The strength of Tuesday it's we're right at it. It's 1465.40. I'd like to actually see this close a buck higher than we are right now. And the volume characteristic, we've done to 298,000 today, going to 400,000. So you're still coming down with lighter volume. I would absolutely like to see that rejection, though, of a size, uh, of a lower price. Silver. Silver out here is always a wild market. Uh, this is the Wild West. There's no two ways about that. Silver's down 40 cents, 44 cents. Now what silver is doing, silver is breaking the consolidation that, it, that it's been in. So this is a serious business when you take a look at silver and you get volume behind the move. Yeah, so this is not a great move. Uh... Yeah. We will come back. I'm going to go over that silver market, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.